Hello everyone, this is Linkmas Prime, and today we are taking a look at the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2002 from Godzilla against Mechagodzilla. And first taking a look at the packaging, we do have a very nice looking box, and this is very nostalgic to me because a lot of uh, SH Monster Arts boxes, you know, for quite some time look like this, and we got like different style ones, so yeah, there's that, but we get the kind of torn open look, this is like the window for where you see the figure, Godzilla 2020, I guess this did come out in 2020, Bandai Tamashi Nations, uh, cer uh, uh, certification sticker, Godzilla 2002, SH Monster Arts, a picture of Godzilla, some more slashes in the box, Godzilla 2002. Uh, on the back we have some promo shots of the figure and some words and things that I cannot read. On the side of the box we have the same thing. On the top we get some more slashes, SH1 starts in Godzilla, and at the bottom we get a picture of Godzilla 2002 and some more words and things that I cannot read. So anyways, that is about it for the box. And moving right along, here we have Godzilla 2002 out of the box, and he looks fantastic. This is definitely, I think, one of my favorite SH Monster Arts figures uh, in terms of Godzilla because it just looks so good. Um, you know, the just kind of moving in on the detail, so much rough texturing going on here. Paint-wise, it's pretty, it's pretty decent, actually. Um, the, uh, the claws are painted pretty nicely on both the nails and the feet. Uh, nothing is really bleeding on the teeth, however, might be a bit of a different story, except it's not, like, too horrible. But here's where my main concern comes in. The eyes are not, um, well, they're, they're not facing forward. This eye is, like, looking up a little too much, and then this eye is looking, like, forward a little bit more, so the eyes are unfortunately crooked. So that kind of sucks, uh, but there's that. The dorsal spines are painted beautifully, and then all throughout the tail, we get all that nice painted like detail with like the kind of whitish gray. That looks really, really nice. So paint work is pretty good, but the eyes are just a bit of an issue, but that's really about it for paint and detail. Now, when it comes to Godzilla's articulation, we do have a ball joint at the head, which allows him to look up that far and down that far. There is a little bit of side-to-side -side motion in here, which is very nice. His mouth does open fairly wide, which is very nice. His tongue does move, I'm pretty sure. It, maybe it might not, I don't really know. I haven't really tested it out, but um, I can't really get my uh, nail in there to really demonstrate, but I think it does, so. I don't fully take my word on that though. But yes, we do have a segment here. We do have another segment in here and down here. So we have a lot more range when looking down and up, which is very, very nice. Uh, and he can look side to side quite a bit and you know, he can look also side to side. So that is very, very nice. We have another uh, joint in here in the diaphragm and another one down here. So he can crunch forward about that much and back about that much. In the arms, the arms uh, have a joint here and a joint, uh, well, not really a joint, but more so a segment, but the arms can move forward and back pretty nicely. They can move in and out and they can drop down and up. So that is pretty cool. There is rotation at the bicep, a slight bend at the elbow so that's really all you get out of that uh, and then we do have a ball joint at the hand so that does allow for a little bit of range and uh, some swivel motion so that is very nice the legs can kick forward uh, about that much that's as far that's as comfortable as I am, am that's yeah that's as far as I'm comfortable going uh, but yeah so and the leg can kick back a little bit as well legs can split about that much and close in about that much come on there we go and there. okay and then knees can bend not too much there is a little bit of swivelage in here swivelage in the foot and quite a decent pivot if I do say so myself and then finally the tail I love this tail I love a lot of SH Monster Arts tails, but this one is definitely one of my favorites. We get a lot of segments in here, which is very nice. This tail is also ridiculously long, so gotta love that. I can't even fit this thing fully into frame. But yeah, so tail is nice and long, nice and poseable. Always appreciate that for an SH Monster Arts Godzilla tail. So yeah, when it comes to articulation, and posability, this thing has got it all. And just for a quick size comparison, here we have the SH Monster Arts 2002 Godzilla next to the SH Monster Arts Godzilla Jr., I guess. I, I 
1995. Yeah, you get the point. There's the comparison. Here he is next to the SH Monstarts 2021 Godzilla. Here we have him next to, I guess you could say, his NECA counterpart, but not really, because this is the 2003 version from Tokyo. So, same Godzilla. Um, but yeah, so here we have this comparison, which, you know, they don't really scale very well, but I guess you could say maybe he aged up more. Than... And just for the hell of it, the NECA Shin Godzilla. Also, this figure never came with any accessories. Am I surprised? No, this is SH Monsters we're talking about. However, if you want to, you can take the atomic breath piece from the 1995 Godzilla, and you can just use that. And I know it's not the right atomic breath. His atomic breath in the movie was actually blue, but you can do that, and I guess that looks pretty cool. And for my final comments on this figure, I would absolutely recommend it. This is definitely one of the best SH Monstars Godzillas in my opinion. I would like to get the uh, Kiryu that you can like get along with this. However, um, that figure is uh, I, I I like my I like my internal organs, guys. Come on, but yeah. Um, so you know I, I would get it, but. Uh, mm. Um, but this figure is really good. Uh, now, unfortunately, uh, the place that I bought this from charged me uh, an extra, like, I don't know, $80. This figure, for example, is supposed to be like around 95 bucks, and I've seen it at that price everywhere else. Unfortunately, I got stooped. So uh, that's kind of on me, though, because I didn't do enough research. And do your research, guys. It's very, very helpful. Um, but yeah, so I unfortunately spent uh, 170 on it. Uh, so make sure you don't spend uh, that much on, on this figure. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, uh, the price that I got it for, not great, but I absolutely love this figure. So worth it, debatable, but I love it. So and I have it, so <laughs> nothing really no use in complaining about it anymore. Uh, but yeah, so really good figure, solid articulation, solid paint. Um, just overall amazing figure, outstanding. Um, has some issues with the eyes, that's really about it. Uh, painting on the teeth is pretty messy, but what can you really expect from an SH Monstars figure? Uh, but yeah, so anyways guys, that is pretty much about it for this review. I hope you'll enjoy. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!